What's up guys? This is Wally coming at you from Butler, PA, where, you guessed it, another Kmart is going out of business. This one's slated to close in September, just like the one in Bel Vernon, and from what I've heard, this one might not even make it that long. This one might be lucky to make it to Labor Day. So, let's go check it out. Okay, so, as you can see, this one still had a little Caesars in it sucks because I was going to get pizza too, but that's obviously not going to happen. They already took down the pharmacy lettering. They have the garden shop lettering up. This one definitely did look like a bigger one. Let's go check it out. Wow, this one was absolutely huge. And just the little Caesars. A shame. You know, this one reminded me of the one on McKnight Road at McIntyre Square. It's set up the exact same way as that store was. And that one, too, is gone. Wow, they really have nothing left. They have the front half of the store filled, but the back is mostly uh, fixtures. Are you kidding? $100 for a trash can? <laughs> okay. I don't know what dope you're doing, but... That's absolutely absurd. Let's see what was in here. Look at this. <laughs> was this like their photo area, maybe? Oh my god, look at this paint. <laughs> I'm sick just from looking at it. <laughs> Holy cow. This had to be like a photo studio, I would think. Yeah, looks like it. Oh my god, this paint is hideous. <laughs> wow. Continuing. Got some pizza, uh, Little Caesars pizza tables for sale. Oh, uh, they're sold already. <laughs> Here we'll do a little look around. As you can see it is empty. What they have left is all up front. Wow, we even have the conveyor belts for sale. <laughs> I'm just curious how much. 250 bucks. See that that's a little more reasonable than the hundred dollar trash cans. Z racks. Fifty bucks. And here's the stuff from Little Caesars Pizza. Want a light fixture? Pizza pans. I saw chairs from over there too, a bunch of chairs. Oh, they're over there. We'll go check those out in a minute. Oh, they're all sticky. That's stupid. Hmm. Want the Pepsi? The Pepsi display? It's only a hundred bucks. They're completely nuts. Forty dollars for a little tiny table. I'd be happy to give you maybe like fifteen. Seventy-five bucks for these tables. What the hell are they talking about? Twenty dollars for each chair. Little Caesar's chairs. 
Why? Is it because they think that their little Caesars chairs are worth more? Please, these things are filthy. These things are disgusting. I'd give you five dollars for a chair. <laughs> and it wouldn't even be out, like, for the general public. That would be, like, in the basement for, like, when I'm working down there or something and I need a break and I just want to sit down. Now this here is cool. Pizza Hut, or the, I keep saying Pizza Hut. I've only seen so many. The Little Caesars pizza display. Oh man, 500 bucks though. Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. Let me uh, get that out real quick. Ten bucks for these. That actually wouldn't be all that bad to put into the basement. That wouldn't be that bad. Fixture central here. Ten bucks though, I mean that's not that bad. I, I could use one in the basement. Ten bucks plus the uh, fifteen percent uh, fee for buying one. The Kmart in Weirton that was closing up. When I went there, I got a fixture and there was no fee. The fixture was ten bucks, and I paid only ten bucks plus whatever their sales tax is. I think it was like six percent or something. So ten sixty. Or even selling these things. Kmart.com. Order online here. $35 for the kiosk. In a way, that's kind of cool, but not really. What's up? 20 bucks for a mirror. That's kind of cool, but no. <laughs> oh, the Red Bull display. 15. Missing a shelf, though. Say, that's not too bad, but I'd want the other shelf, too. I like how they still have this little thing of posters up back here. That's it. Man, is this store empty. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look how long that's been sitting there. 1992 draft pick. <laughs> that is old. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Here, look, here's another one. That shows you how long that's been there. How long the store's been here. How long that gondola's been there without being moved. Franklin, don't sell. Maybe for another store? Franklin. Like what, like a Ben Franklin? Like a five and dime store? You know, one of those old, like, nickel and dime stores. These gondola areas are gross. 
This was one gigantic store though. Look, I'm standing all the way in the back. This one literally, literally looked exactly like the one at McIntyre Square in Ross Township, which closed up a couple of years ago. And it became an at-home. I think that's the store. I haven't been there since, since that Kmart closed. I hardly go up there anymore. Authorized personnel only. It's dark in there. Final employee. Hold on, I don't know if you can read that. Fun board. So their final luncheon's on August 31st, so the store will be gone very, very soon. The layaway department. I'm not going to go into the restrooms, that's just weird. I mean, I'd turn the camera off, go in, and then if nobody's in there, then I would film. But that's uh, the gear shots uh, little thing. Check out his uh, channel. He does public restroom reviews. They are absolutely hilarious. I love his latest one. Well, not his latest, latest one, but one of his latest ones. He goes into the bathroom and looks at the uh, toilet and says, just think of how much ass this toilet has gotten. <laughs> I'll put a uh, link to his channel in the uh, video description here, so make sure you check that out. He's a good friend. He, uh, he has a lot of abandoned videos as well. Oh my god. Look at that old Kmart sign. That's old Sega. Gee whiz. Yeah, this was the electronics department over here. Sarda. Uh, they got a measly little uh, selfie stick. Broken, it looks like. Total wireless. Let's go back along this wall here. There was some cool stuff. You know what? It just occurred to me. You'll know when uh, the end of Kmart is near, when they stop doing layaway and leasing, when they get rid of that completely, you'll know that uh, the company is getting ready to call it quits. Here's a look from the other side. I'll start going through all the aisles that have merch in them. see it lay away another sad sad sight again we're in Butler PA so they already don't have as much up here as we have closer to downtown Pittsburgh thank you for shopping big K that exit is closed They have a lot of tables still. They have some decent patio furniture still available. $89 for a three-legged cooler. Oh, there's the fourth one. That is really cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, so ninety dollars for that. Okay. <laughs> That's about how much they're worth when they're new. And have all four legs bolted on. Here is their garden center. I don't think I'm able to go out this door. I think it's locked. Yeah. There's a look at the prison yard, San Quentin. The garden center at Kmart. Let's continue on with the tour. Man, I, I would probably buy that cooler if it had all four legs on. It was probably like 30 bucks less. I mean, I could easily bolt that leg on, but why should I do that work? I'm lazy. I work on cars for a living, and yet I don't want to do that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but I'd say, like, yeah, look, i got to find nuts and bolts for this. Hook me up. I'm not paying 90 bucks. Still got some Red Bull. Lots of greeting cards still. Oh my gosh, I just found another one of those uh, old Kmart heart monitors. Or blood pressure monitors. So everybody's uh, prescriptions went over to Giant Eagle. That's good. There's a look inside. It's hard to see. Check this out. Here's another one. We found one at the Kmart Neary. Look how old that logo is. I guarantee you this thing is older than me. Do not liquidate. Holy crap. It's so old. <laughs> Here's what they have left. Anybody need hubcaps? I need one. They probably marked them up to like 40 bucks. So they're back down to 20, so that's what the regular price was. They're hideous anyway. At least the ones on my car are OEM. The three that are still on there. I kid you not, they marked these up to $8. And then they're half off. So that's four bucks. Holy crap you're kidding me right here's what they got left I've got a decent amount of toys in stock. So I was looking at some work boots, but they're uh, all size seven or seven and a half. Decent amount of toys left. Some good uh, board games here too. <laughs> More betting. Oh, 
There we are. I knew I'd find Christmas trees somewhere. <laughs> Originally 249. It's only 7482 now. Okay, six dollars for these bulbs here. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, right. <laughs> How much is that? I mean, I know, it, I know it's 50% off, but uh, what? <laughs> Let's go up to the front here. Eighty percent off cosmetics. Cash only. Are you serious? Or is it just that one register? I'm hoping it's just that one register. Boy, that would piss off enough people. They were already pissed off, but that would just make it totally worse. Gross. Two registers open too. Let's see. I know how much they were at the other one. Dollar sixty nine for mac and cheese again. Huh. Swimming pools. Man, oh man. Sad, sad store. 18 inch lawnmower. Let's see. Electric yet. 82.49. Okay, that's not terrible. Deep fryer. Hmm. Unassembled bikes. Well, that is the Butler Kmart jewelry department. Not much left here either. Except all, uh, like, the stuff I guess nobody would in their right mind would ever wear. <laughs> so, I'm not from this area. So I can't tell you when this Kmart opened up. I, it just strikes me fascinating just how similar it looks to the one that we had on McKnight Road. That was a nice store. We, My grandpa and I would go there every Sunday. After church, we'd uh, go to Giant Eagle and Kmart. And uh, I remember I'd, I'd always look for like NASCAR race cars or Hot Wheels cars to bring home. You know, it was it was a lot of fun, good memory. I remember I was really sad when that one closed up. That one was probably the closest one to me, like location wise and like in my heart, you know, because that was that I just recognized that store with a really good memory. All the uh, times I spent with my grandpa, especially after my grandmother died in 2000 and he was widowed. He lived next door to my mom and dad, 
and then uh you know i'd always go next door for the weekends you know we'd go to church on sunday morning he'd take me there an hour before mass even started uh let me tell and we went to the 8 a.m one so imagine having to get up 6 a.m on a sunday when i was in school still so i really only got to sleep in one day but looking back now i i would love to have that you know we'd stop at mcdonald's get breakfast then we'd stop at kmart in case we needed anything there at mcintyre and then run over to giant eagle so my grandpa could do his weekly grocery run my dad i lost him last year too and he also really enjoyed going to that kmart store so when that one at mcintyre closed that one really hurt But life moves on, and I'm going to make new memories. I have a son, too, so I get him on weekends. So I will make new memories. Well, that's a look at the Butler Kmart. All right, guys, so here's a look at the outside. Poor Little Caesars. No more at this Kmart. I found out from a friend of mine who lives up in the Lower Borough area, well he did anyway, uh, the Kmart there in Lower Borough, which is still open and still doing strong, they actually have an open Little Caesars inside. I thought most if not all of Kmart's got rid of their K cafes or um, Little Caesars. I keep wanting to say Pizza Hut, but I, you know what I mean, Little Caesars. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And as you saw at the Bell Vernon Kmart, that was the last K Cafe to my understanding with the dine-in restaurant like that. I'm only sorry I didn't go and film inside of there. I just, uh, there were employees working in there uh, labeling uh, stuff for sale and they look kind of busy and it was kind of crowded in there with all the stuff laying around. So I, I didn't want to get in their way, so. I really wanted to, but I didn't want to get in their way. Plus, I didn't want to get yelled at for filming in case they wanted to go that route. I've been lucky so far with all these Kmarts I've been going into. We're walking back to the Garden Center, or as I call the San Quentin Prison Yard over here. That's what it looks like is a prison yard. <laughs> Let's take a walk to the back. The other part of the garden center, I know it's kind of hard to see with the chain link fence. Nothing in here except cinder blocks, some uh, tanks tarps, hoses, empty parking lot. Rock salt, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure, but Okay. I spoke with a uh, with an employee in there, asking them about uh, employee T-shirts if they had any left, and uh, I was funny enough. Um, number one, they said they didn't have any left, which sucked. But hey, that's how it is. But I thought it was hilarious when he said he stopped even wearing his, you know, and. I have mixed emotions about that. As funny as that sounded, it's like, well, he's not going to have a job soon. Unless he got something somewhere else, I mean, he's not going to have a job here anymore. So I can kind of feel bad for that, for that reason. See, they had graffiti on the wall they painted over. Big Kmart, though. 
Definitely one of the bigger ones I've been into recently. And here's the Kmart receiving docks. Dumpsters. Lots and lots of dumpsters. They have some fixtures back here too. Oh, look at all the signing in here. <laughs> cool. They're throwing away the Coca-Cola uh, fixtures. I thought they had to go back. Dumpster stinks. <laughs> Got some fixtures back here. A lot of milk crates. But that is it. That is what's left of Kmart in Butler. All right, guys. Well, that was my look at the Butler Big Kmart. That definitely was a bigger one than the others I've been into, so that was cool. Sad to see this one go. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that red button and do that. And until next time, guys, take care. Talk to you later.